Okay, here we are at Quartz Lab, and what are you doing there, Darren? Well, today I am, uh, I've got a uh, magnetic stripe card reader, uh, something I pulled out of the garbage, and I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, get some meaningful data off of this. Uh, so as I'm first kind of doing this, I've got a, uh, a cable that's going, um, this is an old 9-pin connection, uh, a serial connection. Of course, none of the laptops have those anymore, so I need an adapter to take us from USB to serial, and then the serial's plugging in, and this actually comes with a wall board to power this unit. Uh, and so basically what we've got fired up here is, is hyperterminal, and, and uh, we're trying to get some uh, meaningful data. So um, now, without we, we've looked at the uh, label. There's actually a label on the bottom here, and we're trying to figure out uh, through Google if there's maybe any data sheets. Uh, that's usually a good way to go when you're working with salvage equipment, but sort of at first glance we haven't found anything there, so we're just kind of experimenting a bit. And so what we need to do is is uh, play around with the uh, play around with the settings, so the uh, bits per second, the uh, parity, data, stop bits, stuff like that. And uh, so let me show you what we're uh, let me show you what we're getting out here. Can we say no hardware remote control? Parity was none. Parity was none. Eight data bits, one stop bit, and no hardware remote control. So now we're connected. So now we're connected here uh, to the uh, card reader, and I've got Hyper Terminal open, so that comes with XP and all flavors of Windows. It's just basically a console program. So what's happening is, is I think this uh, reader is actually just dumping out whatever data it has. So I'll take my uh, trusty CAA card, uh, which I can afford to lose, and I'll just swipe it through the card reader and see what we get. So maybe, I don't know if the camera picked that up, but there was a beep there, and uh, we got a bunch of data on the screen here. Now I guess the trick is to really try and match up uh, some of my numbers to, um, to what's on the screen here. Um, but maybe, as we expect, that these Fs would indicate that there's a, a leader uh, in the data stream, which is uh, there actually typically is on, on magnetic cards. So. Uh, yeah, so there's more work to be done here and just to try and figure out how this uh, actually relates to uh, what's on the card. Awesome.